Okay, welcome back to Butterflies and Angels. We're going to get some angel messages for next week, which is the uh, Monday, December 6th through um, Sunday, December 12th. And we're going to see what messages our angels have for us for next week. So angels, please let us know what we need to know. So the card underneath, we have the chariot. And um, this is also... Archangel Met Metronon and Archangel Metronon um, kind of speeds things up, kind of gets things moving, as does the chariot card. Chariot means movement, um, stuck energy maybe being released, especially after all of the planets that we've had go back direct and with the um, lunar eclipse. And we have another eclipse coming up with the new moon, which is actually um, already started and I believe Saturday is the last day of the new moon. So we want to definitely be keeping our thoughts on focus on what we want and not what we don't want. We want to be manifesting and creating the new and embracing the new and paying attention to the new opportunities that are presented to us. So that's our bottom card. That's kind of what everything's got at the bottom with it. And our card for Monday and Tuesday is the 10 of Michael. Um, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So this, this sounded good. It sounds like we got some good fresh energy coming in. We could definitely got a new moon, so that helps. Um, you can also charge your crystals and all of that during a new moon. Um, I, I prefer to do it with a full moon, but if you feel like they need it, you can do it again during a new moon. Um, but, you know, the full moon is more for cleansing and releasing. But we definitely want to be focusing on what we want with a new moon and trying to create what we want. So let's keep that in mind on um, Monday and Tuesday. Also, 10, the numbers are 1 and 0. And um, 9 completes a cycle. And 1 is the beginning of a cycle. So with the 1 and the 0, it's a beginning of a new cycle. So... We're about to come into a new year, too, so that all makes sense. Then our card for Wednesday and Thursday is the Nine of Gabriel. And Gabriel, if you remember, is the Archangel of uh, Messages, and she works with um, writers and musicians and things like that. Um, she also works with parents. Um, so if you're having an issue with your child, Archangel Gabriel is a great one to call on. If you remember, Gabriel was the one that announced, uh, that Mary was pregnant with Joseph. So, um, it says to stay determined and move forward and be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. So, um, we've got a new beginning going and something is still probably ending and finishing up getting finally cleaned up on Wednesday and Thursday because we've got the nine there, which is completion. And then for the weekend, we've got the ace of Michael, which ace again is one. Uh, we all know that Archangel Michael is um, the angel of protection. And he's the one that you call on if you need help with anything like that. He will help to cut the cords of anything that is no longer serving you. Um, he will help you to overcome things if you're scared or you're in a bad situation or you need help with something. Archangel Michael is the one you definitely want to call on. So it sounds great that as we're going into the weekend that we also have an ace with Michael, a new beginning, and, you know, the angels are going to be helping us. So with this new beginning, we've got um, Archangel Michael there to protect us and help us, and we've got Gabriel to help us communicate correctly, and again, we had Michael here, and then, of course, Metronon, who has to do with um, building things, creating things, um, if you're building a new house or something like that, or moving to a new location, um, Archangel Metronon is definitely the one you want to be talking to about that. Now, remember, we don't worship the angels, okay? Um, God is the one that we worship or whoever you choose, Allah or, you know. But um, God has given us the angels to help us. So there's nothing wrong with asking them to help. I don't even really pray to the angels. I mean, I'm asked every thought that you think, 
and everything that you speak is a prayer, obviously, but, and you are asking and, you know, angels are more than willing to help, but, you know, they are gentlemen and gentlewomen. They don't just jump in. Um, angels really have no gender, but it helps us to think of it that way. Uh, but, um, they're not going to just step in unless you ask for their help, unless it's an emergency, your life is in danger or something like that. Um, but it is important to ask, but even in the asking, I'm not really praying to them. I pray to God and I thank the angels, but we don't want to worship the angels. That's very important because God has given them to us as a gift, as a tool to help us. And it makes sense what they're there. Why wouldn't you ask for help? And why wouldn't you, you know, um, be thankful to have that assistance. But at the same time, you want to be careful and not worship them because, you know, we always want to put God first. So um, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope that uh, you have a wonderful week next week. And if it was helpful, please give me a like. Please remember to subscribe for more helpful videos like this. And I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.